everybody, it's me Safari Sarah and Tyson the Baby T-Rex from Jurassic Quest. And we're so excited for the eclipse happening on April 8th. But just what is an eclipse? Well, let's excavate or dig into it. An eclipse is the partial or total blocking of light from one celestial object by another. P.S. A celestial object basically just means anything outside of our atmosphere, like stars, planets, comets, or even nebulas. Now that we know what a celestial object means, maybe we can try to say it together. What do you think? <laughs> okay, cool. Ready? One, two, three! Celestial object. Good job, you guys. When an eclipse happens, it's because the sun, moon, and earth are all in a line. But there are different types of eclipses as well. That's right. Did you know that, Tyson? Yeah, right? Isn't that cool? Well, we'll be witness to a total solar eclipse. I know. Which means that the sun will be completely covered by the moon. In the daytime! <laughs> Not only will we be able to see it in the sky, with protective eye gear, of course, but we'll also be able to see it all around us because the eclipse will actually darken our sky for a short period of time, of course. And I think that's pretty cool. It'll look almost like it's dusk or dawn, but in the middle of the day. That's right. Although everyone will be able to see a partial eclipse from the US, excluding Alaska and Hawaii, of course, um, there are certain states that will be able to experience the total solar eclipse as well. And for instance, Tyson and I will actually be in Dallas, Texas. We'll be able to see the total solar eclipse, which means it will be completely blocked out, except for a small halo of light that will peek out behind the moon. That's because the sun, moon, and earth will be in a direct line. And this will take place for us at 1.40 p.m. Central in Dallas, Texas. But since we all live all over the place, right? We live in different places. You can actually ask an adult to help you look up the schedule of what cities the eclipse will be visible from, or what the best time is for you to check out the partial eclipse. You can check that out on science.nasa.gov. We all know Tyson's our great big shining dinosaur star, but I, for one, am excited for him to see what a real star looks like. I hope you guys are too. <laughs> so, why did the sun and moon take a break from playing hide and seek with each other every day? Because it was time for a solar eclipse and they wanted everyone to join in on the fun. <laughs> That's right, guys. Keep an eye out for more videos from Jurassic Quest about the upcoming eclipse. Make sure you keep your eyes to the sky with protective eye gear. Again, of course. But look out for the solar eclipse on April 8th. And hopefully, we'll see it at the same time as you. Bye!